Hey YouTube, it's Aisha, your girl Geek XX Chic, and I'm here with another reaction video. This time it is for uh, three trailers that came out during the Super Bowl. So just keeping it 100% full disclosure, I'm not a football fan. Sorry, like I'm Canadian, they've got a different kind of football up here, and it's not like I follow that either. But I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Uh, I, thanks to Twitter, I know who won, so congrats Patriots. I'm glad they were uploaded to YouTube and I'm about to watch them with you. So um, since we're going to go through three, let's just jump right in and start with the first one, which I'm going to be starting with Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the Super Bowl ad. Let's go. Just who in the hell do you think you are? Gold people. Well. <laughs> Gamora. That was awesome. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Mantis. I'm good. What's that? He says, Welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Only he didn't use frickin'. <laughs> okay, Rocky Raccoon's floating. Oh, wow. I tried, guys. Aww. That was cute. Short and sweet. That's what I like. Um, yeah, you know what? It, it, we've already had um, a trailer from last year that was pretty, I think those ones were pretty long and pretty detailed, so we didn't really need too much more here. Um, yeah, I think it was a great little teaser, once again, um, for the film, because I mean, it's coming out. It's still got a little ways before it comes out, but it was nice to kind of get that excitement in there, but they didn't give anything away with the plot. They're still keeping that pretty tight to the vest, which is awesome. And oh my God, guys, baby Groot, he's so cute. I know. I know I'm just feeding into the machine that they're clearly putting out there to try to sell merchandise. It's not like I'm influenced heavily by merchandising or, you know, easily suggested by Disney or any of their enterprises to buy their toys because it's not like I go out and buy a baby. Oh, oh hey, hi, how's it going? Great. They've got me. Like, just shut up and take my money. I want the little baby Groot. I want the baby group dolls, I want all the little trinkets and keychains and all the other stuff they're gonna get. I'm gonna just take my money, Disney. Just go ahead and take more of my money. Let me move right on into the next trailer, which is Logan. Hey, to Mr. Monson. You understand you're trespassing right now, right? I have an easement with the previous owner of your property. <laughs> previous being the operative word. Who's this? Just a guy who wants you to get back in your nice truck and go play Okie Dickhead somewhere else. Hey, Carl. It looks like Mr. Monson hired some muscle. You look that way. He's a friend of mine. Friend with a big mouth. You hear that a lot. And you probably hear this too. Ooh. More than I'd like. And you know the drill. I'm gonna count three. And you're gonna start walking away. Yeah, right, so it's one. I have a lawyer now. Two. Oh, three. snap! Ah, ah. You ah, right, boss? Damn! You know the drill. Get the hell out of here. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that new scene um that's something that uh, first couple seconds there was definitely uh new information we saw that that black guy in the um he just was kind of like a, a quick flash in the earlier trailers but 
no indication as to who he is yet, but uh, apparently a friend of Logan's. So I'm interested to find out how those two are friends. Mm -hmm. I really like how they're using these um, old school songs or, you know, um, songs by older people or by um, legacy singers like Johnny Cash and things like that. It's just the, the, the soundtrack to this, I think, is going to be kind of a combination of amazing and super depressing. I'm glad that they didn't give anything else away. See, the only thing I worry about is that whenever you hear of a movie coming out with its third trailer, you don't want to overwhelm. You don't want to give away everything. You know what I mean? I've seen so many movies where they put out so many trailers beforehand that you're like, what's going to be actually left to watch in the movie that I haven't already seen in the trailer somehow? You know what I mean? You don't want to give away everything. And I get it. You know, this is the last Wolverine movie, so I can see that they're doing their best to make sure that they really plug this baby in. Um, you know, I have a feeling that if this reels in the kind of cash that they're hoping it does, we're going to see more of these potentially, but that's a discussion for another day. So uh, that's pretty much that for the for Wolverine. Let's just get into the last one, which I'm actually super excited about, and that was the first trailer. Yes, it's the first official trailer we've gotten, period, for the second season of Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. I have a giant poster of it on my wall, which you can't see, but one of my favorite things to come out of 2016. Um, really looking forward to a season two, and this is the first time we're gonna get to see anything of it. Very much looking forward to this trailer. Let's jump right in. Let go my ego. You let go my ego. I remember this commercial. That was cool. Love seeing the team back together again. The throwback, like the nostalgia guys is coming back to me in so many waves. As an 80s child, it is awesome to see things that I remember. That Lego My Ego commercial, I remember that. I actually remember when that was airing, like for real, live. I know, I'm super old. But it was cool to see that. I love the throwback to the Ghostbusters, the OG Ghostbusters costumes as a, as a Halloween costume. I remember seeing that a lot when I was growing up as well. Uh, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm a little scared though because I, you know, Stranger Things was kind of what they call a sleeper hit. I don't think anyone expected that it was going to be nearly as crazy uh, popular as it was. So there's a lot of pressure on the writers, I think, to be really good again. Um, I'm just hoping that it's not going to get overhyped. Even that little, that little teeny taste is enough to, um, to get me interested. I had so many questions from last season that I'm hoping we can get addressed this season. Questions about Will, um, lots of questions about Will. That last episode in particular was like, kids aren't all right. Will is not all right. Those are three really great little teasers. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like <laughs> I missed out by not watching the Super Bowl just to catch essentially two minutes worth of footage, but uh, it was really good. I, I think all of them did their job. They were short, sweet, but they were enough to give people a little bit of a taste of what they can expect for these films coming up this year and television show in this case. I know I'm personally looking forward to seeing everything that I just watched. How about you guys? Is there a particular movie that you're dying to see? Do any of these particular trailers stand out to you? I'd love to hear about it. Please leave a comment below. So if you like this video, please click like. And if you want to see more from this geeky face, please click subscribe. So until next time, guys, have a fantastic one. We'll see you next time. Bye.